good afternoon everyone in the today's class of robotics we would like to discuss regarding the obstacle avoidance concept which will be widely utilized in the robotics so till now in the previous class we have been discussed regarding the trajectory planning and in the present class that is avoidance of obstacles by the robot so this is the type of situations that usually observe in the real time basis also for our instance for a simple example we use it to identify as some speed breakers when you are uh, riding on the road so at that particular time the manual actions plays that decreasing of the speed for example if the vehicle that is being run with 60 km per hour of speed when the speed breaker has been identified by the visualization of a human being and it sends the signals to his brain and the actions will be getting done by applying the brake decreasing of the acceleration that is but speed application of the clutch application of the clutch down shifting of the gears and increasing in strategy this and all of the actions will be getting done upon the visualization and these actions will be controlled by our brain so this is the situation to be commenced based on the program and that program will be controlled by the controller so here the controller plays a basic role in the case of robots i think but in the place of human beings will be utilizing this machineries which is artificially done the work on behalf of the human beings more over here a sensors will be placed over the robot the sensors gives the feedback if at all the transit users which are the bilateral devices which access both sensing devices as well as the signal conversion strategies hence those will be feedback will be set or given to the controller for better operating as per the convenience sector and decreasing of its acceleration shifting of the gears and etc of the activities for bypassing safely the obstacle which has been identified secondly after bypassing that increasing the speed or maintaining that particular speed and in a actual basis coming to the overview will be having a detailed look regarding this basic introduction related to this obstacle avoidance concerned electrical block diagrams which need to be incorporated in the in the robotic system as a controlling unit hardware equipments required software that is used for monitoring the entire actuators and applications that are being required come into the basic introduction not only the speed breakers if any of the vehicles that are being existing on the runway 
or any kind of the obstacles that has been erased suddenly from the other directions, those also will be clearly identified. And indeed to avoid the collision, nothing but the mating situation dynamically, that too in the case of dynamically, generally we'll be calling as some accidents. So here, technically we'll be calling as some collisions. So in order to avoid the collisions, or commonly this obstacle avoidance system in the robots are utilized. The basic uh, design of this obstacle avoidance that requires accumulation or integration of different kinds of sensors, different types of parts, which will be functioned based upon the instructions given by the controller. That will be depending upon the particular task. So nothing but as per the mode of work that need to be performed. So mode of work in the sense here, bypassing of that speed, <coughs> speed, <coughs> speed breakers. <coughs> bypassing of that speed breakers and taking diversion at the static positions of the obstacles, overriding or crossing of the vehicles which are existing behind and in front of the vehicles when moving in forward direction or in the reverse directions. Mostly the ultrasonic sensors plays a major sort of range of identifying the obstacles because its radiation capability identifies the obstacles that surrounding to the equipment or robot with a greater frequency and that too it's very much feasible in the case of this economical point of view hence this ultrasonic sensor plays a major role coming to the block diagram utilization of this ultrasonic ultrasonic sensors nothing but the sound sensors which are operated on the basis of this echo functionality aspects. Those are given the feedback towards the Arduino unit. So here Arduino unit is nothing but the controller that receives the signals from the sensors. And based on the sensors, it gives the instructions to the motor drives. So that motor drive will give the instructions or directions for the motors to be operated in a particular way or path. So for almost all the motors, external connectivities, internal sectors, etc., the power supply is necessary. Coming to the hardware requirements, Arduino unit ultrasonic sensors, DC motor driver, the DC motors for having movements over the links of the robot and the electrical power supply. So electrical power supply in the sense here AC power supply or DC power supply can be utilized. Coming to the Arduino unit, it's a microcontroller board based on the Atmega 328P, which stores the 
micro processor unit and supporting electrical equipment in order to commence the activity in a safe mode. So basically the microcontroller, which is of 14 digital input or output pins will be utilized microprocessor and arranging among this 14, six can be used as outputs. Six analog inputs. And one is for ground and one is for VCC, power supply. Here, the 16 megahertz quartz crystal will be utilized and a power pack, which is connected to a computer that will be the different means of this communication channels. Generally, we'll be calling it as a bus interface unit or else the USB cables or different kinds of cables that will be utilized for transferring the data or the instructions. Particularly, at Mega328 microcontroller will look like this. These are the LEDs that indicates the positive and the negative signalations related to the functionality that is getting progressed within the robot, whether it is moving in an correct way as per the programmable basis or not, will be indicating with respect to the different color oriented feedback signals or indicators, USB connections for having this bus interface unit for transmission of the signals, either input or output signals. This voltage regulator, clock pulses for stabilizing the inputs and outputs, etc. Coming to the ultrasonic sensors. So nominally sensor is a detectable device which will be utilized for identifying the data. Nominally, this ultrasonic sensor is used for obstacle detection. The sensor transmits the ultrasonic waves, which are arranging above the 20 megahertz of frequency from the sensor head and it receives back the ultrasonic waves at the source position towards the source position back again. Hence, we can say that it's a trans receiver as we have been clearly identified in the ultrasonic sensor technology of operations. When this sensor enables the robot, it recognizes the object that to beyond the its range, range expertise and identifying the obstacle where it is being located and at what range or at what distance from the existing position to the obstacle it is being varied that can be identified clearly. Nominally, in the case of this mini kind of robots, the operating range of this ultrasonic sensor is in between 10 centimeters to a maximum of 30 centimeters. Coming to the working principle, this is the nominal obstacle and this is the electrical converse that has been placed. These are the range sensors. This is a transmitter and this is a receiver. 
will be placed before the robot in front of the robot where it is getting moved when it is emitting the sound pulse then automatically it detects the obstacle which is existing and reflects back the signals to the controller back again this is the submitting but this is the channel that exists like this internally the obstacle will be given back the range of its movement back to the system zone and this particular distance between the object and the robot will be clearly identified this is the basic phenomena of measuring the distance between the obstacle and the object when it is moving or in dynamical action coming to the features it's very much compact and flexible to fix anywhere and it is very much light in weight it's having high sensitivity getting the precise values and operating at high pressures having the good reliability high reliability nothing but cope up with respect to different environmental sectors as per the seasonal variations that we used to observe generally summer winter and rainy so this equipment is capable of operating in almost all the seasonal variations or environmental conditions the power consumption is of only 20 milliamps getting the pulse input and output communications by the means of this bus interface units getting only the narrow acceptance angle which provides the exact and non contact separation estimations within a range of 2 cm to maximum range of 3 meters here three pin header that makes possible for connecting the utilizing of a servo developed link for commencement of the works as per the programmable range by the robot nothing but identification of the obstacles slowing down of these acceleration or movements when it the robot is in dynamical consideration by passing it and later on commencing the activities that is nothing but increasing the acceleration for commencement of the activities such as lifting or pick and place kind of objects from one place to another place etc coming to the dc motor driver l2293d it's an quadruple high current half drivers which is supports very much clearly for data transmission at an input and output range that creates the actions within the links which normally generates the dynamical motions of the 
a robot. Wide supply voltage range in between 4.5 volts to 36 volts mode is required for operating this DC motor driver. Nominally, the high noise immunity leads at the input range when the functionality of a robot is being taken place. Either it may be of an industrial range or else in the practical way of operations. Output current is 6, 600 milliamps per channel. Peak output current is 1.2 amperes per channel is required. This is the pin diagram of this microprocessor a driver Dell 293D which enables one and two input one output one for pin number three the connectivities as we will be fixing this microprocessor over the controller or uh, the motherboard giving the directions with respect to the spin diagrams from the spin diagrams to various actuators output to input to current voltage vcc2 vcc1 for the 16th pin enabling of 3 and 4 input output ground output input for fourth channels this is the connectivity is as per the serial basis clearly specified in the case of this pin and diagram so the connectivity is will be in such a format for the dc motor and different links will be getting in connectivity with respect to the DC motor for better way of functionality. This is a circuit diagram. In the phase of manufacturing, we used to give the connectivities as following diagrammatical basis. Coming to the DC motor, so in the pictorial representation, it used to represent clearly that motor which is having capability of 10 to 200 rpm which is operated with 12 volts of dc power supply that too with gearbox and even synchronous or asynchronous type of motors are also utilized for the movements of different links and nominally we'll be having 6 mm shaft diameter with internal hole that used to fix the uh, wheels over the shaft and locking at that particular shaft the no load current condition is 60 milliamps that is maximum for operating the robot and for the load current it is maximum of 300 milliamps that is required for utilizing and driving of the robot. And coming to the power supply, as per the domestic strategy, there is 230 volts of AC power supply at 50 hertz of frequency. It's utilized that to 12 volts step down transformer is utilized leads to transfer for operation of the electrical equipment such as filters disc rectifiers and regulators that transforms the input to the output and generates 5 volts of DC power supply as clearly specifies the connectivities in the block diagram or circuit diagram below. So in order to transmit the overall instructions by the means of this bus interface unit from the Arduino 
nothing but the controller to different parts nothing but functionality of these motors will be utilizing this arduino ide software which is generally supported with respect to the work of this c language or c++ and even this asm software which is a basic supporting software of c and c++ so basically almost all the calculation parts logical operation parts as per the directional basis towards the left side movement or towards the right side movement forward movements directional change conditions and identification of the obstacles based on the identification changing of the directions and entry back after crossing the obstacle to the main track if at all any of the bypassing halting conditions are required decreasing of the acceleration and overcoming the situations and later on maintaining the original speed back again and for the happening or commencing of the activities of this uh, bypassing certain power is required for decreasing hence decreasing the speed hence the time consuming or time bound time factor will be increased for commencing of the actual mode of work i think but if the more obstacles has been identified obviously the time required for reaching to the destination point will be very much more so instead of maintaining the nominal speed range the controller need to plan for increasing the speed in the plane conditions after crossing this obstacles to reach the entire robot to the destination point within the stipulated time period or within the stipulated time zones so these and all are the calculations based on the work aspects as per the given programming schedules and as per the connections operates by the controller and this controller will plan or guide based upon the situations or feedbacks of Uh, occurred from the different sensors or identified from the different sensors to the basic controller and giving the actions for different types of motors for commencing the entire activity in a plain format in a faster way within the correct time bound according to that the speed of the motors will be getting varied upon incremental in strategy and while the bypassing of the obstacle in the decremental strategy so indeed to compensate this time factor of bypassing this increasing than the maintenance of the maximum constraints over crossing the value for example 60 km of per hour is nominal after bypassing the obstacle then 80 km speed will be maintained and if the time bound has been strictly uh, satisfied then automatically it will be limiting to a particular situations so where it will be utilizing widely and n number of applications it will be utilized that especially in the case of this military applications 
for transferring of the weapons from one place to the required targeted zone upon crossing the different uneven road maps or road maps hills elevations hill, hilly conditions carrying of the heaviest loads at that particular zones as one of the best example and vacuum cleaners at a high pressure range cleaning of the entire specific area auto parking assistance is a greatest service that is being identified in the present day technology as it has been implemented in the germany and even in canada also and automatic operating camera based on the sensor range fixing the correct capable range uses as a fire fighting robot where the manual process will not be getting possible then they are entering of this robot for different task commencement the materials that will be utilizing for manufacturing of the such kind of robots by crossing these obstacles at different elevation levels is possible in the case of this obstacle avoidance kind of systems these are different kinds of applications that used to identify and the entire its monoclinic of working and the multi stages of working its advantages and limitations we will be discussing in the next class thank you